And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And what better way to ring in the new year than with live football? It's West Ham United and they face Bournemouth. Well, thank you, Derek. Christmas and New Year for me was always about playing football. Loved this time of year. New Year's Eve in the hotel wasn't too great, though. Early night, nine o'clock in bed, getting ready for a great game, hopefully. They've regained possession. King. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Issa Jock plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. And the striker of choice is the powerful and lethal Sebastian Allaire. And a goal has gone in in the Liverpool match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Liverpool. Seven minutes played, 1 0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. And here's how it looks for Bournemouth. Nathan Ake plays with Steve Cook in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. This could be an interesting avenue. Looked as though they meant business, but now they've got to try again. So here's the table, and I think for West Ham United, you can say that it has gone against the grain of general expectations and not in a positive way. Well, you have to look twice at the table to realise they're not in a Champions League place, and that's unthinkable, it really is. The club's in turmoil, way below the standards that have been set. Accountability, that's the key in any club, top to bottom. And the ball with Allaire. Well, for West Ham United, an unpleasant experience last time out when they lost against Leicester City. How will they fare in this match, Lee? Well, they can take nothing out of that last game, Derek, losing 4-0. But I expect them to be better this time out. I predict a win today. King. And King! And he knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion? all over the place and news of a goal coming through from the Etihad Stadium Alan McAnally has the details it's a goal from Manchester City 25 minutes played 1-0 thanks very much as always Alan good numerical situation and just like that they've lost possession Sermon and they are on the move again. The cross is on. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Over it comes. Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Well, it was the pace on the cross. Sometimes with that much power on the cross, just cushion it, otherwise it goes over. up Yarmolenko Rice with it he's got the right idea with that pass the end product just wasn't there <laughs> Stacy. Gosling, Anthony, running with the ball confidently, will he play it in, read it superbly to take back possession, and in with a real chance, will he, and a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. 
Well, in this replay, you're going to see a 2v1 against the keeper. How does that happen? He'll be asking his defence why he was left exposed. Nothing he could do. Mark Noble to be replaced by Joshua King. Manuel Messina. And that's an important intervention. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Big chance to get them on terms. It's still alive. And the ball with Allaire. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. An important interception. Sermon. Jefferson Lerma. And now King. Space afforded him. Cleared away. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half. He's in with a chance. Still a chance. That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. Stacey. Stacey. There's been a goal at Goodison Park, I'm hearing. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Everton. 56 minutes, please. 1-1. One, one. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Just a quick reminder, action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Bournemouth facing Cardiff City. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. Should be a great match, that. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. West Ham have hardly had the ball, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter attacking football. It's really working. Stacey, Gosling. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Wilshire. Wilshire has it. Definitely look as though they want to make the smooth count. Rice. Looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, just look at the replay. The keeper's a little bit unfortunate. He thinks he's coming back out, but just clips the inside of the post and it sneaks in. It's going their way. 2-0. Dan Gosling on the ball. Jefferson Lerma. A move of promise on the flank.
And the cross is fired in, but absolutely no help in the centre. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. They've given it away. This might have potential. And a good-looking ball. Well, it might still work out for them. Now, Felipe Anderson. Let's join Alan McAnally. I say that because there's been a goal at Craven Cottage, Alan. It's the second goal for Fulham. 80 minutes played. 2-1. Cheers again, Alan. Can't miss, surely. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Substitution time it is. Corner kick played in. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Danger averted. Wilshire. Oh, my goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Inside the final five minutes now. Anthony. Please give a round of applause. Jefferson Lerma. Number eight, Felipe Anderson. Declan Rice. Alain. goalkeeper relatively untroubled yeah he's, he's not going to let that one in Derek and there it is the final whistle Just a couple of questions for you. No, no further.
And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And live action to come from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It's West Ham United, and they face Milton Keynes Dons. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the hosts being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the game. I think the key to this is keep it really tight in the first 20 minutes. Try and frustrate those home fans. And then hopefully you can nick a goal here and there and take your opportunities. I must say, no shortage of space. And the cross is very much on. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? And the keeper completely untroubled. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Fairly conventional 4 5 1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players. And he takes it on, and a chance for them to nudge in front. And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him, no problem for the goalie. He's in with a chance. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. Teammate and a fine stop. Boateng and showing fine vision well that is how to run at defenders tremendous block and the ball with Allaire and they are on the move again is it going to be and a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in, tactics have got to change. Well, in this replay, you're going to see a 2v1 against the keeper. How does that happen? He'll be asking his defence why he was left exposed. Nothing he could do. Back playing again, West Ham with the advantage. Into the advanced position. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. He's given it straight to the opposition. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Staunch rearguard action. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. And the ball with Allaire. Allaire. Oh, he's through here. Allaire. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Just can't seem to get out of their own half, and that's down to the pressure. And dispossessed. And a throw-in it's going to be. Can he get them level? Because it didn't quite do enough. That's the high-pressure, high-intensity approach. Well, they're hanging on by the fingertips. The crowd can sense it too. They could do with another one just to ease the tension in this place. Firing it towards goal. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Well, it was a horrific mistake, but the goalkeeper has made amends. Well, he's a happy boy now. Just look at the smile on his face. Two minutes ago, he wasn't so happy. It's with Ryan Fredericks. Well, great read there to intercept. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Easy save. 
Oh, he's given it away. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Kemp. On the ball, Masuaku. Untidy in possession. The referee is in the and he takes on the shot. Can they slot it home? And it's on. He might be able to profit from the wide position. He's in with a chance. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was. But 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go round me? He's got no chance. Well, a second goal for them here. The first half here comes to an end. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. West Ham have had the lion's share of possession. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers. And really has been a dominant performance. That could well be his final warning. He's got to tread carefully from here on in. Well, he has, yeah, but it's quite easy for the referees to throw yellow cards around willy-nilly, but not on this occasion. Surely! And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort, he smashed it. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's West Ham United facing Fulham. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. Good technique displayed. And he cuts inside. It has to be! Well, that's a procession of goals, and surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Well, my initial opinion was to blame the goalkeeper, but here we get a better angle of it. Absolutely nothing it can do. A huge deflection. Keeper, no chance. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. An important piece of transfer news. Thiago has completed his move to Real Madrid. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees around £75 million. That's the type of money you have to pay for quality these days. The market's gone a little bit mad. Are you wasting your money? I'd say not. Top player. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Looks promising, this. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. 
As clean as a whistle, that challenge. No worries for the keeper. Sebastian Allaire. And attempting the through ball. Can he put it away? It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, there's all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Oh, surely! That's a routine take. He's enjoying space. And he's made headway. Still a chance. He doesn't quite do enough. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, we're all looking at the forwards to win games. I'm telling you now, goalkeepers win games too. What a save. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Rob them. Has a go. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. And now the delivery. Rice. Ten minutes left for play in this match. There's a slide draw pass. Can he take advantage? That is when your goalkeeper is worth his weight in goal. Well, he's earned his wages, hasn't he? He was in position, he had his focus. What a save. He's driven in the corner. Real danger. Powell. And the ball with Allaire. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Can they hit on the break? Firing it in. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And firing it into the area. Easy meet. The final whistle, and he's in with a chance. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the goal will not... And they are on the move again. Is it going to be? And a goal it is, the opener... Just a couple of questions for you.
Thanks very much.